Hello Scorpio, welcome to your love reading. This is a 411 love reading where we're going to get the 411 about your connection, how you feel about each other, uh, what you need to know, uh, what are the challenges or blockages, and what's the potential outcome. So we're going to jump right in. This will be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It will be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Scorpio watching, so just keep that in mind. All right, let's get into this. For Scorpio, in love, what messages do you have for Scorpio spirit in love? We'll start with how you feel about each other here. Tell me about Scorpio. For Scorpio, that was fast. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Can I get one more for Scorpio? Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. You might be friends with this person or met as friends. Tell me about Scorpio's person. What are their energies? Maybe you've known this person for a long time, Scorpio. New love. Retreat at the bottom. New person has stirred your romantic feelings. Interesting. So maybe this started off as a friendship. And there's potential here for more. Let's see. Actually, let me pull out the mutual energies. Horrible. What are the mutual energies in this connection between Scorpio and this person? Scorpio, I have you on this side and your person on the other, but feel free to flip them. Energies can be vice versa. What are the mutual energies here? What's going on? Mutual energy is in this connection. What's going on in this connection? What's going on in this connection? We got happy, happy, and round and round. Interesting. I'm gonna look at round and round real quick. Um can get the book out. It looks like something to do with possibly cycles here. Let's see. The spiral quality of events when a lesson isn't quite integrated. Cycles you are challenged to break, revisiting a pattern from a new perspective. Interesting. I feel like it's almost like um, things have been going on in this connection, almost like repeating themselves in a way. Like you're always in the same spot with this person. But I feel like something's happening in this connection that's making you very happy, Scorpio, with happy, happy. You could have even like returned to this person after some time. Like maybe you were friends in the like distant past and circumstances have made it so that you've met again here so let's get into the tarot spirit any messages please for scorpio regarding love messages for scorpio please let me sit down all of these cards i'm going to do things a little bit different for you scorpio i'm just going to pick all of the cards at once for you guys to just feel like doing that. Any cards, please, for Scorpio's energy, the mutual energies, and their persons. Ooh. Three of Cups, Knight of Swords, and Two of Cups. Some sort of reunion here. And two of cups, like you feel this person is your soulmate, Scorpio. Five of swords, higher font reverse, five of coin reverse. So something happened here. Maybe things didn't end very well between you. Maybe there's been a broken commitment here. Someone wants to have some sort of a recovery with the five of pentacles reverse. 
They want to come out of the cold. Um, no longer want to be struggling or uh, needing help or feeling abandoned. Like something's going on there. Yeah, your person wants a new beginning. Ace of Wands with new love. Four of Swords reversed. They are maybe feeling restless about this. Yeah, it's almost like Nine of Cups reversed. They're not getting their wish here. Or they really are trying to do something about the fact that they're not emotionally fulfilled. We'll see when I clarify. Wow. Bottom of the deck here. The lovers. Beautiful. And, you know, I have the Two of Cups. You know, so I feel like this person, you know, Scorpio, in terms of like how you feel about them, they're your soulmate. They're your person. Um... I feel like with the Knight of Swords, you want to communicate, you want to say something, or you're expecting some sort of a message from this person. All right, so let's get into this. Actually, I want to clarify with the Light Sears. I'm going to clarify these messages for Scorpio, please. Let's clarify these energies here. Tell me about the Knight of Swords for Scorpio. Oh, wow. Three of Cups reverse, Eight of Pentacles reverse. And I kept seeing that Three of Cups reverse when I was shuffling. I feel like there's a delay in a reunion here. Um, possibly work or finances could be an interference. Something um, I feel, it's like someone's not able to really put in a lot of effort, but can communicate with you. Can I get one more for the Knight of Swords? Oh my gosh. I don't know what is happening with my cards. Hang on a second. Can I get one more for this Knight of Swords, please? Where I'm not just dropping cards. That'd be great. Knight of Wands reverse. Yeah, it's like this person can't really communicate. I have the Empress at the bottom. Um, this person can't, I mean, not communicate, can't commit right now. Um, maybe in the past they weren't able to commit or maybe someone got between you. And you want to talk about this? Tell me about this Three of Cups over here on the left. Remember that you guys can switch these roles if they resonate more because energies can be vice versa. Tell me about this Three of Cups, please. Yeah, we got Four of Swords and the Empress. Maybe there hasn't been a lot of communication, but a lot of manifestation. It's like, even though you haven't heard from this person in a while, you still think about growing with them, expanding, um, investing, ma you manifest. Someone's really thinking about what they want to manifest here, what they want to grow. So let's see, what's this um, Four of Swords reverse? Can you tell me about this Four of Swords reverse? I mean, your person here, like they want a new beginning, for sure. They want things to start, they want things to develop. Um, but I feel like with the Nine of Cups reverse, it's like they're not getting something here. And with the Four of Swords reverse, it's like they're ready to take action. Tell me about, maybe even speak to you. Tell me about this Four of Swords. Reverse, Four Scorpio, please. Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady, um, an offer that's taken a long time to um, bring about here. This could be someone who is an earth sign or a fire sign. It does not have to be. I just see the Knight of Pentacles is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Ten of Swords reverse. This person could be wanting to start over. Uh, maybe after everything has ended or whatever happened between you, 
It's like this person could even be asking for forgiveness and is ready to move on. It could be that your person has also ended a situation or a cycle wherever they're at. Knight of Cups reverse. Hmm. The full reverse. Why is this Knight of Cups reverse here? Spirit. Why is the Knight of Cups reverse here? Hangman hey, reverse, King of Wands reverse. Interesting. I feel like this person is either having someone in their life who is keeping them stuck or a situation in their life keeping them stuck and keeping them from being open with you. Because the Knight of Cups reverse, yeah, Page of Cups reverse at the bottom. This could be someone that's heartbroken, disappointed, um, unable to deliver a message. So it's almost like they, they're not going to be able to really tell you something due to some sort of interference here that's keeping them stuck, but they are thinking of making something happen. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. What's this Ace of Wands about? Two of Pentacles reverse, a choice being made here. Nine of Cups reverse, yeah. I feel like whatever choice your person makes, they're gonna have something to compromise or give up here. They're not gonna get their wish 100% when it comes to you or this connection. Um, King of Cups here with the Ten of Cups reverse, and then Ace of Cups right after that. That's that new love that we've been talking about with the Queen of Pentacles. Solid here. Um, I feel like this has to do with some sort of family situation, possibly children for some of you, where there is either, you know, it's almost like your person could also just be thinking about a situation that has been emotionally draining with the Ten of Cups reverse. This is just something that's just not, I don't know. It's almost like your person is trying to think about something very like clearly here with the King of Cups. See how he's kind of like meditating regarding this situation. Um, the King of Cups is someone who is very compassionate, um, warm, uh, empathetic, uh, very emotionally mature and balanced. Um, they have a lot of love to give, but they also, you know, they listen to, or it's almost like because of their maturity and because they're so like in tune with their emotions, they're able to make wise decisions. That's what I'm trying to get up there. And I feel like that's what your person's trying to do regarding this situation here. In order to have a new beginning, they have to take care of this 10 of cups reverse, whatever that is for your person. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy there with the King of Cups. Tell me about this Five of Swords. What happened here? Now, this is the mutual energy, so you're both here. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Eight of Wands. It's like someone wants to talk about something, but like in a sneaky way or like it's like they want to talk about breaking free of the fear regarding like this offer that they want to make it's like this person thinks you're not going to be interested in them or perhaps you've lost interest in this connection perhaps you're not going to respond to their message um they've been scared or overthinking about this communication with the eight of wands here you know, whatever communication this is, they've been, um, it's kind of been, they've been in their head about it. And I think it's because they are thinking of whatever happened between you here with the Five of Swords. There was some sort of loss, maybe even deception, um, some sort of situation that didn't end very well. And so it's like they've been thinking about that situation, you know, and, and it's almost like they're not going to talk to me because of that, or they're not going to be open to my offer because of that. I feel like your person wants to heal this or just they have faith that this will work out 
the star at the bottom of the deck here. Tell me about this higher font reverse. Why is this higher font reverse? I think if this is, this eight of wands looks very similar to this happy, happy card to me. Um, so I feel like maybe this message or communication um, is gonna help make you very happy. Tell me about this higher font reverse. Okay, it's way too many. Tell me about this higher font reverse, please. Taurus energy with the higher font reverse. Queen of Wands reverse. Seven of Wands reverse. Page of Cups reverse, Seven of Cups reverse, interesting. So I'm getting different messages here. So I'm going to run through the two that I feel the strongest. Some of you are dealing with someone that's coming out of a long term commitment and they were not happy or this was not a good commitment that this person was in. This could be you coming out of a commitment as well. Someone's coming out of a commitment in this connection. Um, things didn't work out and they're ready to give up on this. And you know, they just are heartbroken about the kind of decision that they made that got them into this mess with the seven, excuse me, the seven of cups reverse and the seven of pentacles reverse. Like this was a bad investment. Maybe a lot of time was wasted or someone feels a lot of time was wasted. Um, others of you, I feel like you were in a commitment with this person. It wasn't just a friend's situation and that didn't work out. And I feel like there was a lot of heartbreak. Someone could have even cheated or deceived you in this connection. Um, someone could have stepped out of the connection. Um, and this really left someone heartbroken. Um, and that's possibly why someone's very nervous about returning to you. This person, if they did step out of this connection, um, they regret it. Um, I feel like they regret the choice they made. Maybe they just were not thinking very clearly when they made that decision. And now it's like they want to revisit this. Tell me about this five of coin reverse. This is all about recovery. So take it how it resonates. Those are the two messages that I'm getting there. Tell me about the five of coin. Reverse, this could be someone also um, recovering from a financial situation as well. Page of Swords, reverse. Six of Pentacles, reverse. Hmm, not liking this energy. <laughs> Temperance, okay. Bottom of the deck, Six of Wands, reverse. Sagittarius energy here with temperance, um, something coming into balance or someone trying to make something work that's taking time to make work here. Um, there's a lot of blending and moderation and patience needed to make this work. Um, this could also be in reference to timing, divine timing. But I have here six of pentacles reversed and the page of swords reversed. So it's almost like there's something that you don't really, it's like this person's not telling you the whole story or they're not able to really be honest and open, you know, again, with this like Knight of Cups reverse. So this could be your person. And so that's causing an imbalance here. Something's still off balance that needs to come into balance. I feel like someone wants to work on this though because they have five of coin reverse. So this is someone working on recovering coming out of the cold, no longer struggling, no longer dealing with this. So let's dive in to your person. Let's find out what you need to know about this person for this connection. First, I'm going to pull some of my, this is my new deck, Secret Moon Oracle. It's a physical deck. I haven't, this is just a sample. The deck is going to be much bigger. Um, I haven't put this up for sale yet, so, you know, I won't have a link to, to it anywhere, 
um, but I am starting to use it because I love it. So you might see it um, around a little bit until I officially announce it. All right, what can you tell me about this person? What do we need to know about this person that Scorpio is dealing with? We need to talk, definitely. I do get the sense this person wants to talk to you. Um, I feel like when they talk to you, though, they need to be open and honest. Okay, I need more time. That's that temperance card. It's like they're working on this and that Knight of Pentacles, too. And bottom of the deck, you make me happy. Happy, happy. Beautiful. Okay, so we need to talk. I need more time. So your person is working on what to say to you how and i feel too that this person doesn't just want to talk like they want to be able to offer you something during that conversation i don't think they're there yet so let's get into this what you need to know and what's challenging or blocking this situation spirit what does scorpio need to know about this connection what does scorpio need to know about this connection Emperor energy. Okay, so that's Aries. Someone taking charge here. Someone wanting to have structure, order. Someone decisive. Yeah, and look, the lovers. This is about a choice of the partner that they want to have. A choice between the head and the heart. What to do here. And yeah, the king of cups at the bottom. This is your person making this choice. What are the challenges or the blockages here? Challenges or blockages, please. Six of coin, yeah, having things in balance here. Someone being able to give you something in return for what you give them. I feel like that's a challenge or a block at this time. And the sun reverse, something hidden. Yeah, look at this, queen of cups. I feel like this person hasn't fully admitted how they feel about you, Scorpio. There's something that's still hidden that's, I feel, keeping things like out of balance here. Let me clarify these energies, please. For Scorpio. Tell me about this emperor. What is this emperor about here? Oops, I got two. Okay. Move these over. Wow. King of Cups reverse and the world. So this person definitely, this is a whole new cycle. This is reminding me of this round and round card. Someone ending a situation or a cycle in order to have that new clean slate. With King of Cups reverse, I feel like your person, it's almost like, um, it's almost like they're trying to ignore, I don't know why I'm picking this up, but it's like they're trying to ignore their emotions when it comes to this decision. Like they don't want to make an emotional decision. Yeah, Two of Swords, this is a very difficult decision. Tell me about the lovers. It's like they want to be an emperor. The emperor doesn't let emotions cloud his judgment and he doesn't think of emotions when he makes decisions so that's why i'm picking that up there tell me about the lovers gemini energy with the lovers ace of coin reverse and one more for the lovers eight of swords so what you need to know is that your person is worried about the loss they're going to have when they make this decision. Whatever, whether that loss is financial, family related, you know, if it's regarding stability, if it's um, something regarding commitment. This person also, I feel, could be stuck in a commitment here that is not really um, working out. Ace of Swords reverse at the bottom with the Eight of Wands. See, it's almost like after not communicating, not having clarity, here comes the Eight of Wands. 
with a knight of coin. Look at this. And then I have the Hierophant reverse right after that. Tell me about the six of coins. Why is this a challenge or a block? Why is the six of coins a challenge or a block, please? Is the six of coin a challenge or a block for Scorpio? Three of coins. Someone's working on this. Putting in effort, wanting to work together here. This could be financial. Two. Oh, I was going to say two, but it's the high priestess. It's like someone's working in secret. Or working but not speaking about what they're doing. Nine of coin, reverse queen of cups. So it's almost like someone is still attached to something but working in secret. Or not completely free, but they're working in secret here. Tell me about the sun reverse. Why is this a challenge or a block? Three of wands. Okay, they need more time. That's that I need more time card. Why is the sun reverse a challenge or a block? Knight of coin. Yeah, they're, they're waiting for, yeah. They're not able to commit right now with the Knight of Wands reverse, or they're not able to move on what they want to move on here, which this is something that's very disappointing for your person. Whatever this is, is tied to them looking back at the past and they have the moon reverse. So it's almost like something's coming to the surface here. Whatever the sun is reverse, it's like the moon is going to turn that sun around, if that makes sense. Someone's waiting for the right time to really make this, this offer to you here, Scorpio. It's going to take a while with the Knight of Coin. And it's not something that can happen fast with the Knight of Wands reverse. It's like someone is very like delayed or I'm not really picking this up as like a player energy because I have the Knight of Coin here, which is complete. They're not a player. <laughs> so that's what I'm picking up here. So let's look at the potential outcome. What's the next for the near future here? Now, what I'm doing with the potential outcome is I'm going to be picking a few cards in this reading. So potential outcome spirit for Scorpio and this person. What is the potential outcome in the near future, please? For Scorpio and this person. Potential outcome, please. If you're interested in the extended, the link to the extended is in the description box right below this video. If you'd like to set a person, or not set a personal reading, if you'd like a personal reading, all of that information is down below as well. All right, potential outcome for the near future for Scorpio spirit. Emperor, I'm telling you, the emperor is going to take charge of the situation. Wow, we have Page of Cups. And Ace of Cups, and this one fell too. Eight of Cups. Wow. Bottom of the deck, Hanging Man. Okay, so this is what I see, Scorpio. First of all, this is no joke here. We, <laughs> we have the Ace of Cups. We have the Page of Cups as well. Look at this. This is someone starting something new with you for sure with this Ace of Cups. I mean, this is like overflowing love, abundance. This is someone that could even be apologizing or just being very like genuine and open about how they feel towards you. Um, someone who's very like, this is an initial message to start things off. So this is about starting something new. I feel like this is going to be come about because of a departure with the eight of cups someone's leaving a situation and going after their nine of cups here um someone could be walking away from whatever's holding them back this emperor is going to take charge you could be dealing with an aries or a water sign another water sign doesn't have to be but what i see here is i see 
you very, very happy with whatever this person comes to tell you, whether it's an apology or expressing the, their love. It's like they don't just want to have, remember what I said that they just don't just want to have a conversation. They want to like talk about an actual plan. That's what I'm like getting here. It's like, I don't want to just tell her that I, or him, because gender, you know, we don't do gender here. Like it's the matter. I don't want to tell him or her that I love them and leave it there. I want to talk about how are we going to make this happen with the emperor, you know, whatever they're walking away from, they were stuck in that situation. Okay, Scorpio, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy my readings and I'll see you all in another video. Take care.